I'm starving. What's for breakfast? Guten Tag! Johannes Brahms! I bring you arts enriched raisin brahms, fortified with increased test scores and creative problem solving skills. It's good! And good for you. Bobby? Susie? Don't worry, that's just the power of the arts! <laughs> <laughs> Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. We can all be more energy efficient. It's easy. Use energy saving light bulbs, energy smart power strips and turn off electronics and appliances when not in use. <laughs> Learn what you can do today at energy.gov slash tink. bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches with a side of home fries. But first, I need my coffee. So I'm gonna start the morning off with freshly ground coffee. Oh. All right, so we're gonna put just enough for about four cups of coffee. All right. So uh, you wanna grind it up real fine. The finer you grind it, the stronger the coffee will be. tablespoons for four cups. One tablespoon per cup of coffee. And I still got some left over so I'll just put that aside for another day. But I'm going to put it in the fridge because it stays more fresh that way. ground coffee is that when it's when it's brewing it fills the whole house with a really nice warm aroma it's a great way to start the day <laughs> so I'm just gonna pop that in there and turn it on and just let that brew this hard, graduating can be even harder, but you can help David and the students in your community make it through by visiting BoostUp.org. So, April. Yeah? You know your charger's still using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. 
What's your excuse? Welcome back. We're going to start with the home fries. So first thing we're going to do is wash them off. If you wish to keep your range, stove, or oven operating safely and efficiently, you'll need to make sure that they're kept clean. Both the control panel and cooktop can be easily cleaned with non-abrasive cleaners. Always apply the cleaner to the rag rather than directly on the surface you wish to clean. The burner drip bowls are usually not cleanable after they've been stained, so it's often a better idea to replace them altogether. If the oven is not a self-cleaning model, you can use oven cleaner to maintain the interior. If your oven is self-cleaning, simply follow the manufacturer's instruction for the self-clean setting. You may also have to replace your oven's light bulb if it burns out. Most ovens use a universal 40-watt appliance bulb. Simply unscrew the old bulb and install the new one. Follow these simple guidelines and your appliance should be running great for years to come. to use, well the second best are red potatoes. The first best to me are the blue potatoes. Um, but red potatoes are good and they're very high in vitamin C. So to me the best thing to do is to leave the skin on because that's where all the nutrients is. Otherwise you peel the skin and you're taking out the nutrients and then you're just having such. Listen to your uncle Johannes. Raisin bombs make you grow up smart and successful so you can be a doctor, lawyer, handsome genius composer. Like me. Feed your kids the arts. Visit americansforthearts.org. We can all be more energy efficient. Use energy saving light bulbs and energy smart power strips. And turn off electronics and appliances when not in use. Learn what you can do at energy.gov slash tink. Almost done dicing up the potatoes. So now it's time to just dice up the onions. After, you don't have to dice them up too little because some people don't like onions, so it'll be easier for them to pull it out. This is basically for flavoring. So, I'm going to throw the onions in here. Sorry, everybody. Sometimes when I cut onions, I get a little emotional. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use oregano, parsley, basil, and rosemary. So now we're gonna just set our stove on high, just to get it heated up, and then we're gonna add some coconut oil, which is very healthy, and there is a little confusion that it's high in cholesterol, but this is all good fats. It's coconut, you know, nuts. Nuts are very good fat so this is a really healthy oil on the contrary to what a lot of health professionals might say you'll find a lot of health he you'll find a lot of health professionals that will say that this is one of the number one choices yeah. coconut oil and olive oil are the best
When life's this hard, graduating can be even harder. But you can help Ativa and the students in your community make it through by visiting BoostUp.org. Treat your family to Van Gogh, packed with live and active culture to boost kids' math and reading skills. It's sure to satisfy your hunger for inspiration. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. So while this is heating up, I could pour myself a cup of delicious coffee. So it's going to be about looking dark brown to black, but then as you pour it, it's going to be golden, just like that. That's how you know it's good. So I've got my French vanilla coffee creamer and one packet of Truvia. When you have a sharp knife, you don't need to fear the knife. It will cut just great for you. Here's some general rules about knife safety. Whenever cutting, if your fingers are like this, you're going to cut them, I guarantee it. If your fingers are like this, the knife can be used as a gauge and you won't cut it. For example, if I were to grab this tomato and slice it, none of my fingertips are exposed. We're using the claw and it's very easy just to take the knife and slice away. Don't cut yourself, be smart, keep the hand in the claw. It works every time. Take this and move the oil around on the edges just so that nothing sticks. All right, and lower it to medium, medium heat. And now I'm just going to dump in here the potatoes and onions. I'm going to stir it up with. Pour in about, about a handful of rosemary like that. Just a little handful. You can't really put too much. It all depends on your taste. Just sprinkle that in there. I think I'll like another handful for my taste. I like rosemary. Right. Parsley, I think I'll do another handful of this as well. If I can open it. There we go. Less than a handful. I'll do about a dime size. Stir it up, let the seasoning stir on everything. Alright, so I'm going to put that back to about medium high heat just so that we can get some color going on. Alright, now that it's heated up, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Can't cook any breakfast meal without salt and pepper. April. Yeah? You know your charger's still using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. <laughs> Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse?
when life's this hard, graduating can be even harder. But you can help Jose and the students in your community make it through by visiting boostup.org. This pan on medium high. With some of my famous coconut oil. And after that melts down, we'll add the bacon. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to start chopping up the cheese. So let's rinse off the cutting board that I've used for the potato and onion. And start cutting the cheese into slices. What we'll do. This will be to go on top of the egg. So that should be good for now. Put this back in the bag. I'm using the Palio whole milk mozzarella cheese. So what I think I'm gonna do is, um, I think I'm gonna leave this on the, on the pot, still on medium high heat, until I'm done with the bacon. And when I start on the eggs, I'll set it to simmer. So this is almost ready. Turn it up just a little so we can speed it up. You want to make sure you wash your hands between touching different foods to avoid cross-contamination. Wipe down your counter. Like I always say, cleaning is very important. That way at the end of the meal, you can enjoy it and not have to focus on cleaning. So, turkey bacon. This is our family choice. I'm using turkey bacon, which is 50% less fat and cholesterol than pork bacon. Now, before I set this to simmer, I'm gonna add just a, a little hella piece, piece of jalapeno and one piece of turkey bacon for some added flavor. Now, to simmer, I'm gonna put it on the back stove so that way I have more more room here to cook the eggs and the bacon together. So. And lowest heat is simmer. All right. And so now I'll just switch this over here and I'll put my small a small pan there to heat up. Kind of. <laughs> of bacon on this round. There we go. Put a spatula. there's enough space between them so that way they don't fuse together. Alright, looks like the oil on this side is, is ready for an egg. This is going to be for a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. So that involves probably about two eggs. Fill the sandwich nice and big. 
So I've got two large brown eggs. You know what? I think we're going to salt the pan first. Just a little. to medium and I still have this my eggs on medium high good. Nothing like the smell of coffee, bacon, and eggs in the morning. This is just about done. And I'm going to have to put that on a plate with a paper towel. I can flip my eggs now. Look at that. Put that on warm heat. And I'm going to get a plate. I think I could turn that off. paper towel. I'm also going to pop the toast in. And that one can cook a little longer, so I'll just keep this one out. This one out. We can all be more energy efficient. It's easy. <laughs> Use energy saving light bulbs. <laughs> energy smart power strips. And turn off electronics and appliances when not in use. <laughs> Learn what you can do today at energy.gov slash tink.
life's this hard, graduating can be even harder. But you can help David and the students in your community make it through by visiting BoostUp.org. Here's the egg. Thank you for spending time with me in my kitchen. I hope to see you next week. The magical thing about using energy wisely is that anyone can do it. Use energy saving light bulbs, energy smart power strips, and turn off computers and game systems when not in use. Get together and make a difference. Learn what you can do at energy.gov slash tink. So, uh, Malcolm, you do know that energy savers last six times longer than ordinary light bulbs. This isn't my room. It, it's, it's Baron Davis's. Baron Davis, the basketball player? This is his room? Yep. Interesting, because we have Baron Davis right here. Baron, do you live here? No. I don't mean that, Baron Davis. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? All right, everybody, kitchen's closed. See you next Monday at 1030. <laughs>